One thing that I'm really passionate about is camera and budget smartphones. And guess what? Two of the most popular smartphones like Realme 3 Pro and Redmi Note 7 Pro, both of them have the camera 2 API enabled, which means you can easily install the Google camera app and get those amazing pixel-like photos. So this intrigued me on how would Google camera app work on other popular Android smartphones. So here is a whole stack of Android phones. You have the OnePlus 60, Honor Play, Samsung Note 9, Nokia 6.1 Plus, Realme 3 Pro and Redmi Note 7 Pro. So let's get rolling and capture some amazing photos. Now both the OnePlus 60 and Pixel 3 have the same Snapdragon 845. I believe the mod should work without much problems and I won't go much into the installation process. Because you can always. Okay Google, how to install Gcam mod on OnePlus 60? And to my surprise, the front camera portrait mode is weird. With different settings, I get super weird white balance. But when it comes to the rare one, oh wow, the difference is huge. Like the detail and sharpening is too good to be real. For the portraits, Gcam is slightly underexposed, but the details in the bokeh, like if you zoom in and look at the rooftop, the highlights are still maintained. But the picture is different when it comes to night side. The native OnePlus camera app can gather more light, is more color accurate and sharper. For example, look at the text on the page. The challenger on the other side of the ring, Realme 3 Pro. Realme actually touted the camera 2 API during the launch event. So let's see how good is this. Realme 3 Pro has a decent camera and when you add Gcam to it, it just crushes it. You have to make a few changes in the settings to make the picture more saturated and remove the camera interface lag. As expected, portraits on Gcam are mind-blowing. This is a trend I notice coming through these many phones. While one difference here is night sight. Realme 3 Pro has its own nightscape mode, which does a good job, but put it against Gcam night sight, it just doesn't hold up. If we zoom into the face and see, the Realme 3 Pro one looks smudged like an oil painting filter, while the Gcam one still holds up well. Now I was damn interested to see how the Google camera mod works on Samsung phones with the Exynos processor, because the Google camera app is not built for Exynos processor. Anyway, let's try it out. So here is a side-by-side -side result. If you can see a white screen above the Gcam mod, this is how most of the mods work. I mean, they don't work. Why you ask? Well, the way Gcam mod works is, it makes the app believe that it is running on a Pixel device. So even if you're running it on a Note 9, the software believes that it is a Pixel device. If you go to the settings, it is clearly evident you can only choose one of the three Pixel devices, even if it's a Note 9. But still, to get things working, I downloaded two different camera mods, one for the portrait mode and the other for night side. And well, was worth the effort. Works better than the Samsung camera app. For some reason, every camera app seems to do some beautification with the face. Like if you zoom in, it looks like a wax statue. For the landscapes, it was close. The Gcam has a cooler tone while the Samsung one has a warmer tone. This would really boil down to personal preference. And night side, well, it just doesn't work for the Exynos one yet. Next up, we have the Honor Play, my daily driver. It has a flagship grade processor, the Kirin 970, but it ain't Snapdragon. Anyway, you have a camera mod which says night side should work on the Honor Play. I cannot find a noticeable difference. I kind of expected this being not a Snapdragon processor. Turns out the portrait mode doesn't work and neither does night side. I browsed a lot of forums and turns out it works on the Honor View 10 and Mate 10 with the Kirin 970. So this might be device specific. Moving on to the Nokia 6.1 Plus, which has a Snapdragon 636 processor. And since it has a Snapdragon, it gets my hope really high. And the results, the photos speak for themselves. Have a look. 
The first difference you can spot is the face. The amount of light Gcam can pull in and the details in the shadow. I mean, look at the face and the sharpness in the beard. Second thing is the bokeh. It looks so natural on Gcam, plus you can still see the details in the bokeh itself. That's the HDR plus magic. Whereas coming to the landscapes, after the YouTube compression, I believe there's hardly any difference you can notice. Now for night sight, the Nokia camera app doesn't have a night mode, so it would be unfair to bid it against Gcam. Plus the hardware has some autofocus issue in low light. However, the Gcam night sight works, but results are just awful. And finally, the phone which is hard to buy, you know, flash sales, the crowd favorite Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now, in the previous two generations of Redmi Note, the camera to API was locked and Xiaomi doesn't play cool when it comes to bootloader unlocking. So when I heard the Redmi Note 7 Pro supports Gcam mod right out of the box, I was excited to try it out. And this is the only camera app that surprised me. The Gcam portraits no doubt are sharper, but the Redmi Note 7 Pro is quite close. I would say that if I want to just quickly upload a snap to Instagram, I would prefer the MIUI camera app. Coming to night side, I would say the MIUI camera app is not that bad, but Gcam just nails it. The images turn out super sharp with more light. You're doing good, Google. And the comparison wouldn't be complete if it didn't chip in the Pixel 3. So here is how the images stack up against the Pixel 3. Surprise, right? It's not only software after all. Now, all these camera mods you see are the Pixel Camera APK brought down to other Android phones. The app is made to believe that it is functioning on a Pixel device by spoofing the code wherever possible. And for the most of the part, the spoofing works. Like on most of the Snapdragon devices, the portraits and the night sight from Gcams were way better than the native camera app. But the difference is not that prominent when you take landscapes. The reason being Snapdragon and the Pixel Visual Core. These things are extremely hardware dependent. But the efforts didn't pay off on devices running on Kirin and Exynos processor, the Honor Play and Note 9. Overall, it's worth installing when you have a device with Snapdragon. So go ahead, install the camera mod and let the TechWiser Insta ID know about it. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you soon.